plants trees they not just make our planet greener and give us oxygen but also feed us so a lot of research has gone in to plant sciences botanical research plant biotechnology and agricultural research but there has been till date a missing piece in all of this and popularly we call it as that missing piece which can probably revolutionize the entire field this missing piece is called as bioinformatics so today in this video we are going to look at how bioinformatics can be used in plant biotechnology and agricultural research and botanical research now many students come to me saying that sir bioinformatics is not something which we need because i have a botany background i have agriculture background i have a plant biotech background the truth is you need bioinformatics more than anyone else whether it is rice genome research whether it is wheat genome whether, whether it is anything any type of plant you are doing research bioinformatics can help you now learning bioinformatics will save you a lot of money because then you don't need to find a bioinformatician pay him to do the job for you right so this video is exclusively on how uh, bioinformatics can help you in plant biotechnology agricultural research and botanical research to start with we will start with the first statement which is genome sequence and analysis now as we know bioinformatics tools can be used so uh, for that matter there are more than 50 different open source bioinformatics tools which can be used to sequence and analyze the genomes of various plants providing insights into genetic makeup gene functions and evolutionary relationships now the benefit of this would be you will be able to identify genes you will be able to identify which particular gene is responsible for a particular trait such as a disease resistance a drought tolerance or increasing the crop yield so basically these are the three requirements why we do the research we either want to increase the uh, produce the volume of uh, food item which can be reaped off or uh, the resistance from pests or from drought so drought tolerance these are the three things we are trying to look at so at the gene level what gene is causing that and can we transform can we utilize that kind of thing in another plant that's what that's the kind of uh, re genetic research gene research is going on right now using bioinformatics now let's move on to the next aspect wherein bioinformatics is playing a great role and we call it as mas and that is marker assisted selection now what is that marker assisted selection is where you utilize the bioinformatics tools to identify and uh, utilize the molecular markers linked to a specific trait for breeding program so for example a particular trait in the plant is there that it is uh, resistant to droughts so we find that molecular marker and then we utilize that to replicate it in other plants so it helps us speed up the breeding process by selecting plants with desirable traits and it will be able to uh, incorporate this at the seeding stage itself and develop better products and breeding will be successful so that's where marker assisted selection mas comes into picture now moving ahead the next part will be transcriptomics right so what is transcriptomics we are trying to study the rna transcripts produced by the genome under the specific condition using the bioinformatics tools now benefit of this would be we will be able to understand the gene expression patterns and we will be able to understand its regulation and response to environmental stresses so how this particular genome rna transcript is behaving in um, uh, drought or in a particular like rainy season or um any other season so accordingly we can modify and modulate our research so that is where transcriptomics plays a important role now followed by that will be proteomics so what do we do here we will analyze the complete set of proteins expressed by a particular plant genome including their structure and functions and then we will provide this insight to the researchers and uh, we will help them understand the molecular mechanisms underlying the plant growth development and stress responses so as we know that uh, pro protein is the uh, product which does most of the things in a plant or animal so yes we will try to understand the molecular mechanism involved which is helping us achieve that plant growth or development or stress response so we will be able to modulate it if we understand that using bioinformatics so so far we understood transcriptomics mas proteomics let's dive in and find out what more we can do with bioinformatics now before i get to that i have a special announcement for you 
Biotechnica provides 30 days, 6 months as well as 3 months training and research program in bioinformatics where you can work with our scientists on products and projects across the globe and publish your paper in collaboration with our scientists. Now, this helps you establish yourself as a researcher. You will get recommendation letter, work experience letter, and you will be able to apply to jobs elsewhere. So that is where Biotechnica is here to enable you in the field of bioinformatics. If you want to know more, the link is given in the description. Now, let's come back to the video. So next step will be metabolomics. So what do we do here? We will use the bioinformatics tools to study the metabolites which is being produced by the plants, which are the actual end product of a cellular process. Now followed by that, we will try to understand plant metabolism and identify the metabolic pathway that can be used in the targeted crop improvement. So that's important part of metabolomics. Next, we will try to understand how a plant, if it is able to resist a pathogen. So how it is able to do and can we replicate it in other plants also. So we will apply bioinformatics here. We will use it to identify genetic factors and pathways involved in plant pathogen interactions, which will help us understand the development of disease resistant plant varieties by understanding how plants defend against the pathogens. Now, Benefits of this would be, we will be able to first analyze the plant pathogen interaction, we will be able to extrapolate it, we will be able to develop disease resistant uh, plant varieties and we will be able to improve the crop yield, that is what the farmers want and this will uh, help us reduce the need for harmful chemicals. Now what are the companies which will hire you straight away will be companies which are into plant breeding, companies which are into plant biotechnology and agricultural research such as Bayer. So these are the companies which will straight away hire you if you have a bioinformatics experience and if you are a pro in all of this whatever I said. Now moving ahead let's find out how exactly this will lead to crop improvement. We will integrate all the omics data which we are getting, proteomics, metabolomics and all of that. We will take the genomics, transcriptomics data and then we will utilize bioinformatics tools to improve the crop traits. So the moment crop traits improves automatically, the crop yield will increase. Now, this will enable us to develop high yield, nutrient rich and stress tolerant crops through targeted genetic modifications. So we are not actually going uh, and doing anything which changes the complete plant genome, but we are just do, doing some modifications and modulations so that the nutrients increases, so that the produce increases, the farmer is benefited and at the end, the consumer, which is you and I, is also benefited without the use or by minimizing the use of fertilizers. So that is also a very important fact where bioinformatics can play an important role. Moving ahead, we have also got epigenetics of the crops. So what happens? We will analyze the heritable changes in gene expression and that does not involve the changes in underlying DNA sequence using bioinformatics tools. Now, what will be the benefit of this? We will understand how environmental factors such as stresses or pathogens are impacting the gene expression. The plant development is impacted in what all ways and then we will be able to provide new avenues of plant, plant improvement by and also reducing the usage of fertilizers and chemicals and increasing the nutrients in the plants and uh, plant produce and this can be a game changer so epigenetics is also a great addition to this uh, list now followed by that obviously whatever data we will gen generate we will you know uh, collate all of that right so we will manage and integrate large data sets generated through high throughput technologies in plant biotechnology and we will use artificial intelligence and machine learning to extrapolate it. First, we'll use ma ma machine learning to extrapolate it and then we will use AI to interpret it and find out a better way of doing things. So this will facilitate the efficient data usage, data storage, data retrieval and analysis enabling all of us, you and uh, me, to derive meaningful insights from the data which other scientists have also done and they have uploaded on the server. So this way, you know, our collaboration online can lead to better results in the data management and integration aspect. That is where now this all, whatever I said till now, this all will lead to one common road and that we call it as precision agriculture. Yes, you heard me right. What is precision agriculture? We will use bioinformatics to analyze data from sensors, satellites, drones to monitor the crop health, soil moisture, soil conditions, weather patterns 
and then we will be able to support decision making for the farmer so that he knows uh, that what time he should water when he should reduce the soil moisture when he should uh, do uh, the fertilizer and the pesticides usage so that we can have maximum product produce and reduction in the chemicals usage so all of that can be done if we utilize bioinformatics tools advanced ai ml tools in agriculture in plant biotechnology now followed with that i would like to conclude here by saying that if you are a bioinformatician then biotechnology especially plant biotechnology is a important aspect but if you are a botanist botanist or a plant, agricultural researcher or plant biotechnologist you should learn bioinformatics because you will save on time money effort and of course you will be able to grow in your career because bioinformatics will open newer avenues in your existing company also because it will help you do more things in less time it will help you collaborate with other researchers internationally globally publish papers and help you earn more and more so like i said in the beginning of the video this is a missing piece in your entire spectrum of research which you have been doing till now so what are you waiting for go ahead and train yourself for bioinformatics with biotechnica's bioinformatics summer training program all the details is given in the description and if you have any questions to me you can always ask in the comment section or drop me an email at shekhar@biotechnica.org thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye